everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and wow what a lovely break that was. I hope you all had a lovely break as well. I know it was all a little bit uncertain so I hope however you ended up spending your Christmas you spent it with people or fur babies or babies or whoever that loves you and if that wasn't possible I hope that you just showed yourself some love as well um, I know I was starting to get a little bit anxious at the as we were drawing closer to Christmas because I was thinking you can hear Porter rustling in my bags of, of gifts um, I was getting quite worried because I was like oh I feel a little bit anxious like last time you know when Christmas was a little bit up in the air but we were lucky to not be affected and we ended up <laughs> Port is yawning. Am I boring you? <laughs> um, I was lucky to spend Christmas morning at our home and we then went and had lunch and breakfast with um, Ali's family and um, then came home and spent the evening with our fur children which was just wonderful and then the next day we had my family over and we had about 11 of us here it was nuts my house was a wreck everyone had such a good time but it was absolutely wonderful oh i had such a good christmas it was different it wasn't like um our previous years where everything was always very much like the same things have changed and so we're sort of making new traditions nowadays obviously it was porter's first christmas as well and he, he actually came with us on christmas day and had a whale of a time. He really could not settle, bless him. <laughs> but anyway, I hope um, that you had a lovely Christmas, whatever it was. I also hope that you had a wonderful new year. I know that we spent a very sort of low key new year this year with just a couple of our couple friends, uh, very relaxed, but a little bit wild in the morning. And um, we we're just drinking and singing, but there's only a few of us. So it was just a really lovely sort of intimate affair which we um thoroughly enjoyed i am going to go through my christmas presents with you now and i know that not everyone is into this so i do just want to remind you that this is not what christmas is about and it certainly isn't what it's about for ali and i as much as we love spoiling each other and spoiling our family and spoiling our friends christmas for us is a magical time of year where you just get filled with like loveliness and it's just this weird nostalgic feeling isn't it it's different for everyone as well. Some people, it will be about the gifts and some people it will be very much a religious thing and um, however you spend Christmas, whatever it is um, for you, I, I hope that you enjoyed it. But I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas. I also want to remind you that these kinds of things don't make you happy. These are just a really lovely thing that I think that you do every now and then to show someone that you appreciate them. And so without further ado and without further justification or rambling, I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas. And I hope you like it and perhaps in future Christmases it might provide you with a little bit of inspiration because I don't do gift guides so you know maybe this will help you next year who knows who knows <laughs> anyway first up I have some things that I'm going to insert some uh, cutaways of because I've already placed them in situ and I don't want to ruin them first up you would have seen this arrive on vlogmas my grandma sent us something from House of Brewer and this is set up right here in front of me on our coffee table. She sent us the most beautifully crafted uh, backgammon set. It is in the like this really rich antique looking uh, leather in a beautiful case with really solid beautiful bits of hard wood for the discs. I don't know any of the technical terms yet. Please bear with me. I'm sure there'll be people screaming at me, but I've never played backgammon. Um, I'm hoping to learn. My dad is a bit of a, a bit of a pro, and so he showed us how to set it up, and hopefully he's gonna give us some lessons because he was saying it is good fun to play. It's the most wonderful gift, and it's the kind of gift that you keep forever and ever and ever, and you pass it down through a family because it's just stunning. Ah, my little sausage has come to help with the uh, showing of gifts. He was very, very spoiled this year. Spoiled so much, in fact, he had a um, poorly tummy sometimes because his daddy spoils him with a lot of food. <laughs> Would you, are you all right there? Okay, good, I'm just, I'm just in his way. Next up, we have two items that you would have seen me um, lose my mind over on uh, Vlogmas as well. There were two really beautiful ginger jars from Time, and Ali wrapped those up under the tree for me, and they are now in situ. We have one in the window of our guest bedroom, and we also have one in the hallway window as well. And I love them, they are the most perfect color. They look like they were always supposed to be there, and uh, so I'm not gonna move them. 
but I'm gonna insert a little uh, picture of how they look in the window. And um, yeah, they're by a really lovely, stop licking the Book of Wine Porter. I will link the ceramicist that we got them from. They're from Time, but he sells them at Time. Um, I'll link his stuff in the description box down below because it's absolutely beautiful. Continuing on from my husband, I guess, because we are on this road, we also got, he got me a new Soho farmhouse dressing gown because I live in them and also some Soho candles which I've already started to have my wicked way with so they're not here and my dressing gown is in the wash because I've already been snuggling in it there is nothing like a fresh dressing gown that is for sure he also picked me up this wonderful and peel cardigan I'd had my eye on it's in this kind of like dusky mauve color and it is um, in this plaited woven texture and I just thought this was super cozy, great for throwing on, and I loved the color of it as well. Something different and something that I didn't have as well. So, very cozy cashmere from N Peel. I swear I could like literally buy everything from that store. Porter seems to like cashmere as well. That was that. Also from my husband, uh, slash from Porter and Lumi as well, we got these really lovely and practical umbrellas. These are to go in our cars, just basically for ease of use. They're from a company called Balios, and it says, designed in Britain with quality and aesthetic beauty in mind. When it rains, look for rainbows. I thought that was really, really lovely. They're this lovely shade of um, sort of, heritage green which I love you will know I never stop blooming saying heritage green um, and they're also very very handy because they have a button and I think a lot of um, umbrellas like deploy but this one actually like retracts as well so um, very handy these are going to live in our cars for whenever the great British weather shows us what it's made of so I thought these are really practical as well and I think that is everything other than my main present that my husband uh, treated me to was a very very lovely new engagement ring from Chupi. You are spoiling the show Porty, off. It all gets a bit much, much for him, I think he thinks it's Christmas again. Um, he cheated me to a very very lovely engagement ring from Chupi. We had, well, I'd had the same engagement ring for five years and no that's not a long time but um, I, for me, the ring really doesn't, it's, it doesn't mean anything. I just have to wear it for the rest of my life. What means something is the fact that we have a really, really loving relationship and we have a really lovely relationship um, where we laugh all the time and respect each other and work together. So the ring for me is just, you know, I've got to wear it every day. So it's nice to have one that I love. And it's, I always thought it was quite a common thing to upgrade, upgrade your um, engagement ring. But I think maybe that's like a, a different culture. I know people get quite um, up in arms over this, but you don't have to change your engagement ring. You absolutely don't. And my husband doesn't mind. He knows what I'm like, and I will probably upgrade it in the future as well. <laughs> I actually had someone message me and she's like, I'm on my fourth upgrade. And I was like, you are a very bougie moo. <laughs> um, but it's very, very lovely. It's from Chupi and I'd, I think I'd spoken about Chupi rings such a lot that he kind of got the hint. So that was lovely. No, no. At the moment, I am teaching, ah, oh, no. Apologies for that. Porter has this thing where if I drape a blanket over the, the chair, he wants to dig through the blanket to the sofa. So that is something that we're learning at the moment that isn't okay. <laughs> so yes, that was my big, big Christmas gift, which I am absolutely in love with. And I think it's so, so beautiful. And it feels a little bit more me. I've obviously kept my um, engagement ring and, um, I might make, have it made into something else. I might just keep it. Maybe I'll go back to that more classic style. I like being able to sort of change things up. And the sentiment with them stays the same. He asked me again. I said yes. And um, I'm going to keep saying yes. <laughs> um, but that was a very, very lovely Christmas gift from him. From Carrie. <laughs> if you throw up on my dress, we will fall out. Carrie got me tickets to see two cellos, which we both love. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. We've got so many good gigs lined up in 2020. So um, this was just another one to add to the list. We're gonna see some good, good music in 2020. She also 
very kindly, and I feel like this was a bit of a running theme throughout Christmas, but um, she imported some Provence Fig Jam to England for me so that I never go without. I'm currently working my way through my first uh, tub of Fig Jam, which I am honestly halfway through. I absolutely love it. So she imported this all the way from Provence for me, which I was very, 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 very grateful for. And then this one was the the sort of the one that made me lose my mind a little bit. So I wanted to have some labels designed for when I make produce in the kitchen garden or in the kitchen or whatever. So for our honey, for my chutney, for my lemon and ginger tonic, which I'm soon soon going to be making using the lemons from my lemon tree, and. Carrie contacted the lady that did my branding online and she created the labels for my um, homemade produce. This is obviously not a business thing, but it's just me being me and always going that little bit uh, too far with everything. But I want to be able to wrap these around the lid of things um, and just make it very personal. So this says, from the Pottager Kitchen Garden, which I think is so lovely. And instead of um, like the flowers that I have on my logo, it has little like sprouts of carrots and things like that in there. So I just thought that those were really, really cute. And she actually has these files so I can have them remade all of the time. Carrying on from that theme, her partner got us a really, really lovely gift as well. I'm having my vine wires added to my greenhouse this year and he actually got us our own vines and it says um, the name of our house and the, the vines on them. So it was a really, really lovely gift. So as soon as my vine wires are up and the season is drawing in, I'm going to uh, pot those up and get them growing and one day there might be wine coming from my own vineyard. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> um, also carrying on that theme, I received a gift from Carrie's mum as well, which was um, a lovely selection of seeds and flowers. So I've got the Nigella African Bride, Cosmos Purity, um, Larkspur White King and Sweet Pea April Paris. So these are all white flowers um, to go into the garden because I have a kind of like white and purple theme throughout the beds. So that was from Carrie's mum. Next up, I got a really beautiful homemade candle from my assistant Fee and also two bottles of wine because one of the things I said that if anybody didn't know what to get me this year, they should get me wine. So Fee got me two bottles of um, barefoot wine, one of which is Malbec, which I loved. Oh my God, this is actually my second bottle, so I'm able to show you this, but I drank my first one. Um, and also the Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc, no, the Cabernet Sauvignon. And this is, um, I haven't tried this one yet, but this one I really, really like. It's a bit more of like a sophisticated jam shed wine. So it's got a bit more of a winey feel to it and I actually prefer it. So this, this is really good. Probably at the moment, new favorite red wine. Um, my assistant Dee also got me a bottle of red wine. She's on maternity leave and Fee is, is her, um, what's it called? Cover. I haven't tried her bottle yet, but it's already in the store downstairs. So that was from her. Then from my uh, bookkeeper, Erica, she got me, you're seeing the running theme here, homemade fig jam. So this was made on the 19th of December, 2021. And I'm guessing that she's made this herself, which I am so excited to try. Oh my gosh, like all of the fig jam. <laughs> so that was homemade. And she also got me two little tree decorations, one of Porter and one of Lumi. So I thought that was really, really lovely. Next up from my parents, my dad and my stepmom, they got me a rice cooker. So if you don't know, my stepmom is Iranian. And my stepmom, well, my favorite dish that my stepmom makes is Jeresh Polo. And basically, how she makes it, she makes it with saffron rice with berries in it as well. And um, often she'll line the, the rice with potato and it will almost have like a fried crispy bottom to it. Let me know if you've ever had it before. Um, it has been my favorite dish since I was about 10 years old. 
and I've never been able to make it. So she actually bought pretty much everyone a rice cooker for Christmas to be able to make the dish. She, she, I also got a little packet of saffron to make it with and I think she's gonna teach me how to do it with my rice cooker. So this was a very practical purchase that I'm very much looking forward to uh, trying out. Hopefully I will be a rice maker extraordinaire very soon. <laughs> um, and my stepmom also gifted me with a ring as well that was um, an heirloom from her that was made in Iran with emerald. It's actually very, very similar to my cheapy one, but this one was with an emerald and some other, other diamonds. You'll probably see it knocking around. Um, so that was what I got from them. From Ali's brother and um, sister-in-law, they got us a the pasta modern new and inspired recipes from Italy. Ali and I love pasta. <laughs> I think it's a really good thing to love as well because it's pasta. And so they got us a big book on pasta, which I'm looking forward to thumbing through and um, making some bookmarks on to broaden our pasta variety. Um, but it was really, really lovely. So um, that was from them. And then from my nonna and my uncle Carlo, I got this very, very beautiful world, the World Atlas of Wine, a complete guide to the wines and spirits of the world by Hugh Johnson. And someone messaged me when I put this on my stories and they thought that this must be a first edition, but I can't see anywhere where it says anything about what edition this is, but it's very, very old. And it says that it was made in 1969. So, um, obviously there are many reasons why I love this book, but also the fact that it is this colour of green and the gold writing and that it belonged to my nonno, my nonna and my uncle Carlo. So that's a very, very special piece that will sit on display in my house probably because I love it to pieces. What else did we get in her? I think that's pretty much everything in there. Ah, oh, I found my saffron. <laughs> this was also um, part of my Christmas present from my parents. We got lots of lovely chocolates and bits and pieces like that. This was from Ali's Nan and Gramps. Um, they also got us a gift card. They always get us a gift card for like gardening and things like that. Ali's mum, you would have seen, got us a hamper. So did my brother and my sister-in-law and they got us these really lovely um, baubles. I think are in here. Lovely little white tree ornaments that are engraved with our names on. So I thought that was very nice as well. My mum got me lots of little candles and things which I've already popped in my candle cupboard with the other candles. And I think, oh, Lumi? Lumi? <laughs> Porter, he's like, hello? What are you doing? Um, and then obviously my big Christmas present to myself, which will probably end up being like a birthday present or probably even next year's Christmas present was um, my Range Rover that I decided to buy for myself for that. Um, I'll pop a picture of it on screen. We've gone for the Belgravia green with the tan leather interior um, and it's very, very lovely. Massive treat to myself, but I'm justifying it with it being Christmas and um, that's basically that. <laughs> and a few other bits and bobs was I got a really, really lovely candle from um, Ali's dad and stepmom. And I also got another hamper from my brother and my sister-in-law, but this was like a sweetie hamper and it was really, really lovely. And that was pretty much everything that I got for Christmas. So um, I hope that this was interesting. I feel like I've really put a lot of my presents to good use already. And so they're kind of like scattered here, there and everywhere around the home and being used and loved and all of those kinds of things. So if they're not in the video, I'm sorry, but at least you got to see a little bit more of um, what I got because I was a wall when it came to Christmas. I was not online, you didn't see anything other than me showing you what Ali got me, which was lovely. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting. So I will see you really, really soon. Porter is snoring 
um, on my lap. And if you are new to my channel and you're watching this video for the first time, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button. I don't think that anybody understands fully how much of an impact that it has on a channel especially if you enjoy the content or you enjoy the person or you just think that they're a little bit funny. Um, <laughs> it's always really helpful if you hit the subscribe button. So please do if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.